one of the problems that we have in America, and I write about this in my upcoming book, Killing the Mob, is that we'll accept a certain amount of corruption here. The government will, the swamp, will accept it. I mean, Nixon beat Kennedy in 1960. Kennedy lost. And what you, what do you read how organized crime inserted itself into the 1960 presidential election? Well, that was never investigated because the press loved JFK. And we never got to the bottom of it. I, I give you some pretty heavy-duty information. Um, but it was never adjudicated in a court of law. So that's what's going to happen here. So the Supreme Court, you know, they're waiting. I think they'll hear the Pennsylvania case. But just like, and I'm going to get to this in a little while, the, Bo- the Bush-Gore thing in Florida, they're going to say, yeah, it's too late. We can't overturn an election. All right, so there are lawsuits in play, and the big one is um, Republican Party of Pennsylvania versus Bachvar. She is the uh, 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 Secretary of State in Pennsylvania. And this is the mail-in over the mail-in ballots that they were handled in an illegal way in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I think the Supreme Court's going to have to take a look at that. The other is a small ball, right? There's a lawsuit in Philadelphia um, about um, curing ballots. That means the ballot is questionable, uh, and then the officials let somebody come in and sign. Oh, that's not going to get anywhere. In Michigan, there's no chance. Um, there is a lawsuit um, asked a federal judge to reverse Joe Biden's victory, but it's not going to happen. The federal judge is never going to do that. In Clark County, that's Las Vegas, Nevada. Again, um, they're suing the state. Uh, the Election Integrity Project is suing the state of Nevada, saying the mail-ins were unconstitutional, uh, according to state law. But Nevada is controlled by Democrats. <laughs> it's not going to do it. So we have a situation where I believe there was some fraud. I don't know how much. I really I can't divine that. But I believe that there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff happened in the five areas that I mentioned, and I'll re-mention them now. Philadelphia, Detroit, Milwaukee, Fulton County, Atlanta, Georgia, Clark County, Las Vegas, Nevada. Those five. Doesn't stack what I've seen. Okay. Um, 28 states have already certified the vote. Um, More to come. It'll all be wrapped up by December 11th. Nobody's going to stop the train now. The train's on tracks, and it's rolling, rolling, rolling. So President Trump uh, gives an interview about the election to me, Maria Bartiromo on Fox Business. Um, roll tape. Where is the DOJ and the FBI in all of this, Mr. President? You have la- laid out some serious charges here. Shouldn't this be something that the FBI is investigating? Are they? Is the DOJ investigating? Missing in action. Can't tell you where they are. Uh, I ask, are they looking at it? Everyone says yes, they're looking at it. Uh, Look, where are they with uh, Comey, McCabe, and all these other people? You know, I I said I'll stay out of it. I wish I didn't make that statement. You see, but that doesn't really stack up. The president doesn't have to stay out of it, even if he said he would. So what? If you believe that Attorney General Barr isn't doing his job and policing the election, then you should call Mr. Barr in and have a joint press conference with him. That's what should happen. So I don't know why that the president is not more proactive and okay. let's see what you have in the Durham report right up now. If you're not complete, that's all right. But let's give the folks an update now. Mr. Durham and Attorney General Barr, let's go. Now, remember, the president, he is a chief law enforcement executive. They work for him. And if they wouldn't do it, he can say, all right, you're fired. It wouldn't do it. And uh, turn over, declassify it all, put it on out. The president has the power to do that. So... I'm not really sure why Mr. Trump is staying back here. 
he's clearly not going to be president in the next four years. If there was massive fraud, certainly he wants that out. Certainly. So he can run again and say, hey, look at this. That would be a powerful, powerful campaign tool in four years. So I'm not really sure why he's not more aggressive here. I mean, the Durham report, that's almost a scandal at this point. That's been going on for so long. And now, you know, what is it? President got a month and a half left. And believe me, it's not coming out when Biden gets in there. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. As you all know, the dollar is at a 10-year low, and November could spell real trouble. That's why I recommend you consider physical gold and silver. And the only company I do business with in this area is American Hartford Gold. You can call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they'll give you a free gold coin on your first qualified order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold's up over 40%, silver over 60%. So please don't wait. Call them now, 877-444-GOLD-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. 